powerful new film, The 33, transports us back to August 2010, when the eyes of the world turned to Chile, with 33 miners buried alive by the collapse of a 100-year-old gold mine an international team worked night and day in a race against time to save the trapped men. At the center of the rescue efforts was Greg Hall, the owner of Driller Supply International. When the collapse happened, the government quickly found out they didn't have enough equipment to reach those depths. So we were contacted to send out our people and our personnel and our product to equip all those rigs to get there. A man of deep faith, Hall developed what became known as Plan B, a strategy to use cutting-edge drilling technology in an unprecedented rescue effort. I remember telling my wife, you know, what would we do if that was our son or our brother down there? We would go down there and try to dig them out with our hands. So I decided to try to develop a, a plan using whatever equipment was available. All the calculations, all the simulations we made showed that it couldn't be done. But again, what would you do if that was your brother's? For me, the whole entire movie is about that is a celebration for life and the value and the specific value of individuals being rescued. The whole entire story is a metaphor. For example, religion, how that played a role there, you know, the possibility that God is going to help us uh, was very strong. Many of the miners were very much believers. Our Father, who art in heaven, Lord Jesus Christ, you who are the son of our creator, we ask you to grant us strength and fortitude in our tribulation. Y no, no hallaba otra alternativa de, de que más que encomendarse a Dios en ese momento. Así que yo creo que la fuerza y la unión que tuvo el grupo, eso fue muy importante. As an ordained deacon and a proud member of the Knights of Columbus, Hall saw the rescue of the miners as part of his daily quest to live out his Catholic faith and the order's principles of charity and unity. What I did was just more or less an expansion of what the Knights do every day. There's a lot of people in our world nowadays that are trapped in some dark, deep places. The Knights are there helping those people get out. The technical was so tough not only we'd never drilled for people, we'd only drilled for profit. And that was such an awesome uh, weight on us. It was more than we were capable of doing. And we actually had one point where we were about 140 meters from the, uh, the bottom of the hole where we got stuck and we could not get out. And there's nothing we could do. And so I actually said the words, I said, Lord, we've done everything we can. If you want them out, you're gonna have to send your angels down and dig the bit out. And the bit started moving and it really can't. Uh, I've had many people come up to me that know the business and say that hole's impossible to drill. And I had one of my friends say, God drilled that hole. That's where I said, God did drill that hole and I just had a good seat. A serious accident just occurred at the San Jose Mines. Say something, I'm giving up on you. 31, 32, 33. We're all here. I thank God for that. A story of resilience, personal transformation, and the triumph of the human spirit. The 33 features an international cast led by Antonio Banderas and Academy Award winner Juliette Binoche. The film has already opened to rave reviews in Chile and across Latin America. Bueno, yo creo que con esta película la gente se va a llevar eh, más de un valor porque esta película no solamente refleja la fe, sino también refleja la la unidad y la fuerza que uno debe tener cuando afronta situaciones tan adversas que le depara el destino. The film does a great job of showing the heroic people that were involved in this. And the, the heroes were the miners and their families. They were people of faith and that their faith brought them together and that allowed them to continue to survive. <laughs> 